My name is Nail Kurt. I'm the general manager and CEO of FNSS. This is Pars Alpha, the most recent version of Pars series of armored vehicles. The reason we launched this vehicle here is that two of the one of the two major programs that Pars Alpha is competing now is in Saudi Arabia. One is in Turkey, the other one is Saudi Arabia. Because of the busy schedule of the vehicle, uh, we decided to make the launching in here in World Defense Show. Uh, because during the time of the IDEF in Istanbul last year, the vehicle was busy with extensive testing. So we decided to launch it here. The Alpha series is little different in some ways from the uh, Pars series and its heritage. The main difference is the location and the placement of engine and transmission. And uh, via this uh, new approach, we achieved to come up with a shorter vehicle. As you know, the uh, newest 8x8 in the market are huge vehicles, both in length and height, yet may not give you enough space in, inside to accommodate uh, most state-of-the-art uh, mission equipment. This one, with this new approach, we were able to maintain a lot of uh, positives of the PARS series. Uh, I would call them uh, or list them as the balance between the axles, load balance, very important for us, and also uh, the front view of the vehicle, uh, being able to sit uh, if the user wants to sit the commander and driver together, give them both the same 180 degrees plus situational awareness, uh, field of view, uh, which was very important. The back draw from the uh, PAR series was that we, we had power pack located between the uh, front compartment and the rear compartment where you would have a uh, dismount seat seated. So in this new configuration everyone is together. So we push the uh, driver and commander front two seats back, still maintain the front view, angle of view, uh, very good compared to its competitors. Yet they sit all together with the dismount. So uh, everyone is together, which is very, very critical from uh, also command point of view. Uh, and also the, uh, maintain the contact between, between the uh, crew and the dismount. Uh, also, this provided us a gigantic inner volume. Uh, I wouldn't talk about competitors, but uh, with PARS4, this vehicle's predecessor, uh, there is an additional 2.5 cubic meters of volume. As you can see, there is one single space inside, in the front, you can see two seats that uh, allows driver commander to sit side by side, still significantly behind the front nose of the vehicle because the power pack is in between. So that also provides additional protection to the people sitting in the front. Uh, it is higher than normal protection that, that the uh, competitors are offering uh, and also uh, the gunner sits behind, as you can see. This configuration uh, is a remote weapon station, uh, remotely controlled from inside, but we have manned versions of these turrets as well. And at the back, you see a tent crew can sit comfortably, which is also an additional asset for the vehicle. In the meantime, we provided all the heritage of parts series, like all-wheel uh, steering, of course, all-wheel uh, driving, and also the uh, ride height control, which gives you additional safety and stability at, on the roads at very high speeds. Whereas in an environment uh, that mine threat is uh, very critical, then you can uh, hire the vehicle's uh, bottom from ground up to 60 centimeters, little exceeding also, I think, 60 centimeters. That would give you very, very uh, unusually high uh, protection against mine threats. This can accommodate 120 millimeter uh, turrets to 120 millimeter uh, 
mortar systems, uh, any anti-weapon tank system, air defense, uh, 105 turrets again. And I mean, this, this volume, I mean, most of the vehicles can accommodate such weapon systems on it. Agree, all right. But this internal volume would allow you to also carry the ammunition. In such cases, a huge ammunition requirement that you would have if you deploy a 120 millimeter uh, turret on this one. Where are you going to replace the? It's not a main battle tank, it's nothing like that, but still you would have a lot of space inside. Instead of the uh, dismounts, you can accommodate ammunition as, as many as you require. This has been already tested in the Turkish competition. I mean, it's not a one week or two week testing. It's, it's almost a year long testing. Uh, the vehicles were subjected to very severe conditions. Uh, in all terrain, terrain conditions, I mean, uh, so th we have successful results that give us enough confidence that the vehicle is ready for production. Uh, again, this is not a new, brand new vehicle uh, with all the components and everything subsystems. A lot of, lot of subsystems on on this vehicle have been already used uh, by the customers around the world from parts four parts three uh, vehicles that we delivered to uh, Malaysia, Oman, Turkey. So that they are they are uh, ready for use. That I can say.